<coughs> oh my god, are you getting sick? Okay, so yeah, these are. Some. Ew! Oh my god, I'm like a germaphobe. Oh, <laughs> germaphobe, whatever. <laughs> there go our notes. I don't know. And we need like a crew to help us through this. Your eyes though are really like on point. Whatever. How many jeans do you have? Five. Five. I don't even know. I didn't count. Jacked all of them. I know, but it's too early to count, so forget that. All right. What? Did I put on lipstick? Okay. I think I'm good. All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Waiting on me? Wait. 45 seconds. I know. Ago. Right. Because okay. you're always prepared. We got this. We got this. Okay. You got this. All right. Okay. Okay, ladies. It is time for Friday in five. Ish. 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 Okay. Right. We are going to slam through this one today. Like yeah. my coffee this morning. <laughs> like your coffee. <laughs> okay. okay. Today we are talking about the perfect gene. That's an urban myth. That, you know, I would have to agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. There's really no such thing as per What did I do? No, your eyes are like green as can be. I'm sorry. Really? I'm sorry. Yes. They're like green I'm, as can be. All right. Maybe it's because I'm standing next to your green shirt, which is really cute, by the yeah. way. It's new. It's a new hair. arrival. Oh, so cute. We're talking about jeans, though. Oh, jeans. Okay. okay. There really is no such thing as the perfect jean. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we got a lot of tips, though. Yes. We have a lot of tips. We're headed into fall and we are headed into jean season. And y'all need to have your jean game on point. On point. Right. So let's talk about a couple of things. And I think the first thing that I want to talk about that we do really well here is stretch. When you do people still own jeans that don't stretch? I know. Should you own jeans that don't stretch? <sighs> well, I tell you what, long gone are the days of those jeans that are super uncomfortable and you can't even breathe in, you can't sit in. Like, you lay down on the bed to zip up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were thinking it too, I've done it. No, I've never done that. Yes, you have. Okay, I might have been I in my 20s and years, the jeans might have been red and I probably was not headed to a bar or anything like that. Okay, no. we gotta stay on point. No. Okay, that's stay. a different story. That's another story. Mm. Okay, so stretch. Couple of things here. Stretch can be good and it can be bad. So you just have to make sure that um, that you're talking to people that work in your in the store that you're shopping in. Um, I'm not gonna bag on mall stores, but they are not gene experts. No. They really don't, they're inventory experts. They can tell you if they have a certain size in, but they're not gonna be able to tell you much about the gene itself. Mm -hmm. So, um, we know genes, and we know that you don't want your genes to bag out. I have seen it. Mm -hmm. It's, not, it's not pretty. After you put them on, 30 minutes later, you need a belt, or you need, yeah. you better be wearing your granny panties to make your sure everything. Your crotch is down at oh your knees. Oh my gosh, it's not good. No. So, yeah. um, so you don't want them to bag out. You do want stretch, though, um, the, because you want them to move with you, um, stretch with you, right? Uh, awesome, awesome nowadays, along with all of our cell phone technology, yesterday, I'm getting off topic, but yesterday I saw a computerized credit card. <gasps> oh, we'll talk about that later. Oh yep. my gosh. Yep. That was I've heard weird. about this too. I'm like, what is yeah. it? I saw it in person right there. That's insane. Anyway, okay, so fabrics have technology as well. And let me just tell you that nowadays they're amazing. What you really wanna look for in a pair of jeans is about 2% stretch. You definitely want cotton, but you want about 2% stretch. Anything more than that, they're going to stretch out and bag out. Yep. About 2% is where you wanna be with something like Lycra or Lycacel or- Spandex. Spandex, um, something like, uh, some If blend. it's a tinsel, that's okay too. We gotta to watch how much is in it and then coming in here will help you with the sizing yeah because tinsel gives quite a bit right and we'll talk but to it's you a about premium that. fabric it's beautiful Ooh. it's amazing we just got to watch what it's blended with Exa exactly exactly yeah. so about two percent stretch is what you want because two percent will allow the jeans to stretch with you but it also gives them good recovery so we just talked about stretch because right that's on. a huge thing yes Huge thing, yes. stretch. Yes. I'm not gonna wear any jeans that don't have a stretch. I know, it's just not even comfortable no. anymore. No. My it's not. I, I want it to, I, my want it to I have an expectation of stretch. <laughs> yeah, and I want it to feel like leggings. Yes, so here's an example. This is really great stretch. Feel your jeans, feel the fabrics, stretch them. Feel, feel your, your jeans. jeans, not your fringe jeans. Feel not, your jeans. Right. <laughs> if you're feeling your fringe jeans, she's shopping with us and 
you need to be shopping with us too. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. What's your number two thing that you look for in a jean? At my rise, definitely. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, you don't want to wear the low rise? Mm-mm. You, okay, Mm-mm. so. Um, I let's... didn't even wear low rise when low rise was popular because I never thought it was cute when your panties were peeking I out did, the back. I did, but I made sure I wasn't eating days before so that my hips and everything <laughs> else were sucked in and yeah, and I had no shape and it wasn't fun. Um, low rise if you could point as I hold so yeah. that you can kind of see and compare Ooh, Vanna get it get it oh, yep I'm gonna step back just a little bit so that you can really showcase it right okay up. look at the rise right here in fact I'm just gonna put my hand there is the top and then there yes I mean I'm already we're right there that's we're right not, <laughs> we're that's right not. there and it's the same way on this one too you're right there that's a good way. You can look visually and even look at this. This is a great thing that Patty pointed out earlier. See how at the top and to right here, and then you're right here. Like there's not there's not there's, any, a, there's not much zipper there. There's a, yeah. Look at your <laughs> zipper size. There, there's size not enough. There's, matters. <laughs> size matters. Uh, there there's not enough crotch in these jeans for me. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, and that's exactly. <laughs> we totally have said crotch a couple of times. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, but, you're not gonna you're not gonna go to a store with a tape measure no. and measure the in, the no. the rise of the jeans. Yeah. So one, I think one thing that you could definitely look at is look at the length of yeah. the zipper. Yeah. Even this one. I mean, we're talking literally. That's it's a like, tiny like zipper. Look at that. My pinky finger. It's not that's, even there. That's so, a tiny tiny zipper. This completely different. And if you notice, they're also not pointing out how the zipper, it flows. And if I put my hand, look, look how much, look much, at that. Much more rise. I still have way up there, yeah. way, way up there. And they're also doing this, and this can help you with the rise too. If you look in the back of the jean, you see how this is coming through here, and you've got this extra space. And I know it looks like a, a mom jean when you're first looking at it, mm -hmm. but when you get it on, this is, this is the hot mom jean. <laughs> this is beautiful. This yeah. is, yeah, phenomenal. So there again, on the front with your rise, um, compared to the other one, it's it's huge. Yeah. Because you don't know it, but we know it, and when we pick out jeans, mm -hmm. um, we always look for anywhere from an eight to a nine inch rise, mm -hmm. because that's about perfect. Um, it also depends on height, so your tall versus your shorter ladies. Yes, a high rise on me would not be a high rise, on because I'm 5'5". Five five. You make me feel short. I feel like I need to stand up tall. Um, <laughs> you got a little heel. I got a little bit bigger. Yeah. Than yeah. Um, because a, a high rise jean on me, I have a friend that she's she's six feet tall. A high rise jean on me is not a high rise jean on her. No. So. No. Yeah. Um, you and know, a mid rise on you is not the same as a certain mid rise on me too. Right. And especially torso and stuff like that. It's body right. Top, yeah. Body it's, type. it's not just height. It's, exactly. Some yeah. people are long. They have a yeah. long torso, and that's just the way it works. One thing that um, a customer showed me once is mm -hmm. that you can almost kind of cheat that your rise should be a little bit longer than this span right here. Between the yes. middle finger and going down yeah. to your thumb? Is that what you're doing? Well, it kind of splayed out like that. So this one is a good rise oh, for yeah. me. I mean, I like my jeans to definitely hit me just below the belly button. Mm -hmm. um, and these would do that. So right about, let me see. that. Yeah, about that. You want it, you want it a little bit bigger than the span of your hand. I and think. you want it right below your belly button because if not, then you have squishy parts. I have squishy parts. I have squishy parts. I just hide them in a jean. Exactly. Well, that's the cool thing about a higher rise jean is that when you get them a little bit higher, mm -hmm. then it sucks all that in. It pulls it in. And, it, uh, and I can finally wear my nice more flattering shirts that are mm -hmm. a lot slimmer yeah. than my flowy shirts. I felt like I had to wear flowy shirts all the time because you, the we weren't wearing jeans. If you ever do have that low rise jean and you wear it, just wear a little bit looser shirt. Don't, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't wear a low rise. And exactly. It's, it's not pretty. We yes. No one wants to see that. Yeah. No. I, and you're not comfortable and you're not confident. Yeah. Be, yeah. Be, be comfortable. Yeah. Absolutely. So another thing where size matters. What? We're all about size this morning. Just size saying. matters when you're size talking matters. about pockets on your jeans. Oh. What That's what we were talking about. What do you think I was talking about? I don't about? know. Like, I don't, I don't know. Pockets? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, so I've got some tips about pockets too, okay? <coughs> um, your pockets should be proportional to the size of your uh, hip span and the size of your derriere. So if you got a bigger booty, you're gonna want bigger pockets. 
if you got a little booty, you're going to want little pockets. <laughs> I have no booty. It's no, I just dress for it. I just dress for it. That's all. Well, my booty's this way. So I got to watch my pockets and they've got to come out this way a little mm -hmm. bit. It's not so much this way. Mm -hmm. It's this way. So yeah. Yeah. And you don't want them too high on, um, on your butt mm -hmm. and you don't want them to go past the crease on your butt on the bot on the bottom side so they shouldn't be too high they shouldn't be too low and you don't want them wrapping around too far to the yeah. front of the jean now most jeans don't do that but I have seen some yeah. that the pocket literally comes way around to the front. way around to the front of the jean this is a, uh, so just for an example this pocket I have seen it come all the way around to to the mid uh, strike uh, of the scene of the seam of the jean and you just don't want it to do that so um, again keep it proportional big booty big pockets <laughs> size matters so it's all about the size, size matters. <laughs> okay so um, anyway uh, should we talk about um, let's talk about the different styles of jeans yeah. jean legs because the biggest thing that you're gonna want to do no matter what is you're gonna try a lot on that's the that's a another lot. great tip. You try a lot on. You have to. You have to try them on. If you don't get in there and try them on, you're like, oh well, this looks kind of like the jean I have at home. It'll be fine. And now you have another trick coming in, and, and now we're finally getting to work with you because you didn't listen because you didn't try a ton on. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. I mean, you're gonna be naked in the dressing room anyway, so mm -hmm. you might as well like bring ten pairs with you, yeah. and then and let us suggest things for yes. you we have done this for so long now we know and we can automatically look at you and we're always guiding you on these things we're always helping you for your body type because we've dressed a lot of body types and we know our denim so yeah, yeah. we definitely I mean we know our denim and just um, just by telling us what you like and don't like in a pair of jeans we can pick out I mean just just get in there and try it on yep, so exactly. just try it all on okay okay so now we're gonna talk about jean leg cuts the yeah. cuts yeah you want to start okay so there's a couple different ones this one right here is a beautiful one it's gonna be kind of hard to see it's a straight cut um, but it's got a high rise mm -hmm. oh man you want to talk about looking like a beautiful giraffe uh -huh. and going through this one right here is amazing Jean placement as far as the pockets, I meant pocket placement, um, is phenomenal too. It has the great cut in the back. The yoke, yes. Yep, the, oh, the yoke. The yoke? I don't know, it was the yoke. You learn something new every day. <laughs> um, the rise, like, bam. I mean, it's great. So this one is a beautiful one on pretty much anybody. A straight can be yes. played off by pretty much anybody. Then if you go a little bit more, you go into a boot cut. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a little bit of a flare when you're looking at it visually on a hanger, but when you get this on, it is a true boot cut. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very elegant on the legs. I love boot cut Boot jeans. cuts are beautiful. I love them, not just with boots, but I love them with heels. Oh, I do I too. I love them with heels. You I'd add just a little bit of height to it and oh. Mm -hmm. Looks good. It looks amazing. Looks good. Um, I see it. Are you, did you, do you have the don't over there? No, I have the don't. Oh, you have the don't? I have the Show don't. Show the don't. Yeah. Y'all think that y'all want some boyfriend jeans. Let me tell you something. Most people think they want boyfriend jeans uh -huh. because they see all those Pinterest models and mm -hmm. cute little girls wearing boyfriend jeans and it's slouchy and so super cute. Um, boyfriends don't look good on most women. They just don't. They, uh, you think you want them and <laughs> let me just be honest with you, you really don't. Oh, yes. yes, so uh, these these uh, actually are a girlfriend cut, and they're a little bit more flattering than the boyfriend, but um, it takes a certain uh, tall, thin body type to wear a boyfriend properly. It does. It really opinion. does. I mean, you really don't have, you when you're wearing a boyfriend, you can't have hips, you can't have curves, you can't have, we're women. I like my curves. <laughs> I like my potatoes. I like, so I want a jean that looks good on me. Yes. And she's right, the girlfriend is beautiful. It's almost, and this is what I tell my ladies, it's almost as if the skinny and the boyfriend had a baby. <laughs> yes. So because a it's boyfriend, not too skinny. Yeah, uh, a boyfriend normally is a very relaxed fitting jean, yes. basically. Supposed to, you're supposed to wear it around your hips, not up at, near your natural waistline. You're supposed to wear it kind of around your hips. It's going to be more relaxed through the thigh, 
and um, there's way more room. This is not as skinny at all. So it's very flattering. Yeah. It's not like skinny, but it's very flattering. And then once it hits the knee, it gives that little bit of a release, but not like a straight because it still tapers. Yes. It's just beautiful. It's really The girlfriend beautiful. is cute. I mm -hmm. don't recommend a boyfriend for most women, though. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, that is a particular body type for that one. Now, my favorite jean is a oh, no. true yeah. sleek skinny. And some of the women, um, moms, are maybe around my age, have not embraced the skinny. Now, we try to get you out of your comfort zone and show you that a skinny is perfect. It looks great with heels, looks great with flip-flops, sandals. I don't recommend tennis shoes. No, But um, no. let me tell you something, coming into the fall, this is going to be your favorite jean yep. because when you put your boots on and you wanna show them off, yep. You don't want to have to roll up a boot cut jean. Uh, the skinny leg is perfect yep. for wearing boots. So get a skinny leg. Now that means that it is thinner through the thigh, thinner, it's just thinner all the way down and it definitely tapers at the bottom so that it's real skinny. But this is perfect for a pair of jeans and how do they look with booties? Oh, they look amazing. The other thing too is I have a lot of ladies that they're like, oh, you know, due to certain body type and size, they steer away from a skinny and when I put them in a skinny I'm like you just lost you 10 amazing. pounds exactly and that that is true because visually your eye yes. goes to the nice sleekness of it and they think oh it's yes. showing everything if we put you in the right size it's not gonna show the inappropriate things and we're right. very honest with you about it but it does it slenderizes yes. you big time my sister up until about two years ago was wearing boot cuts and I'm like we got to get you out of those she I loved know. them loved them loved them and I'm like get in the dressing room and put these on. Oh my God, she lost 20 pounds just by changing her jeans. I just realized something. Do we wear sweatpants out anymore? No, we either wear a yoga pant or we wear a legging. Why, because it's more flattering, yeah. see? Legging. Leggings. Legging's more flattering, it's like a skinny jean. Yoga is like a boot cut. I just realized that. Because yeah. yoga does go down yeah. and it's very flattering. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just saying. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, oh, I want to talk about the trouser jean. Yep. This is a beautiful jean. It's nice and dark colored. Um, I would say that it's somewhere between a boot cut and a straight. Yeah. Yeah, because this is meant to fit like a pant and not necessarily a jean. Yep. So definitely um, these are going to go well for dressier occasions, but I just wanted to definitely put out there the trouser jean. And the other thing too to talk about is there are a lot of these jeans that you can play with and you can take them from day to night yes and you can wear them with different things like on your skinny what shoes would you recommend with these well I wear heels with everything so anything with a height <laughs> um, you can also wear it with a flat especially if it's an extremely skinny like oh, yeah yeah so yeah. you can do that with a lot no tennis shoes like she said no tennis shoes um, with, with your trouser anything with a heel too oh my god I'd even wear a trouser and honestly I know this is crazy Say you're at the office, crazy, and you're wearing a great wedge with it or a great heel, and then all of a sudden you're like, hey, I'm going out that night, and maybe you want to wear your cowboy boots. A trouser with a cowboy Ooh, boot cute. is so cute. It's, it's very, sexy. very cute. It I is. It's very it. sexy. I so. love it. Um, and did, oh, do you have the flares over there? The white flares? Or no? Uh, those are bootcut cut feet. Yeah, those flares. I personally love flares. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're very similar to boot cuts. Oh, I have my flares at home. I was like, do I have, I have the art, I uh -huh. have, yes, yeah, I have you those. have flares. I love them. And every time I wear them, everybody's like, where did you get them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah, so flares are very similar to boot cut, but the flare is going to be thinner through the leg, and it comes in just a smidge at the knees so that it can come out again for mm -hmm. the flare. So that it makes it, it's, like I said, it's basically a boot cut but um, it just comes at the knee, comes in at the knee a little smidge and, and then flares out from the knee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's beautiful, it's beautiful. It elongates you big time. Oh, I love them. You wear I, a oh nice tapered look up on top and it, it just complements like with the shoulders, the way it goes, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. absolutely. It gives you a fabulous silhouette. So this is a lot of styles. The biggest thing is try it on. Try it on. Oh, and if it's too long, because designer oh, jeans come. Oh, big, big, big suggestion there. Absolutely. Yeah. You hem it. You hem it. There is a couple of tricks that we can do on certain styles. So like a true skinny or something that comes in a little bit tighter in the ankle. There's a couple of tricks we can teach you mm -hmm. until you get to the point where that you take them in to have them hemmed. 
but designer jeans come very long. They do that because they're designed that way to fit your body later on. They make them on purpose long yeah. so that you take them in and you have them hemmed up and that's when it becomes the exact length for your body type. Exactly. So it's they're not being mean. They're yeah, not, they're not like, why do they make these jeans so long? It's intentional. It is, it is. So it's that you will way. take it a $10 hem, mm -hmm. get the original hem, it's like 12 <laughs> Yeah, you should never pay more than 15 for an original hem being put back on. Some right. vary just a little bit, but you should never pay over 15 for it. Yeah, but good ladies, just hem it. Uh, mm -hmm. ten, another 10 or $15, and they're gonna be your favorite pair of jeans. So, yeah. I don't know, I say, Try it on. Ask us for help because we know our merchandise. We know our inventory, yeah. right? Yeah. Ask for help or I'm just going to do it. Or you. we'll just throw things in your room yeah. at you anyway. We'll be nice about it, but <laughs> we're going to be like, hey, can you try this on? I haven't seen them yet. Anyway, so ask for help. Yep. Try it on. Try it on. And do the sit and squat test when you're trying oh, right. on. We yep. have to do the, you have to do the and sit and squat. We have the great little couch and I make the ladies. I'm like, sit down. Sit down. Stand up. And they're like, they didn't move. You're right. welcome. Because we have just, you're the most awesome jeans here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to throw in there? I think we did it. No, we have a ton of new styles out on the floor, so get in. Absolutely. Check them out. We'll help you. All right. Well, good seeing you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Woo! I know, but we're doing a segment on jeans, and I'm wearing leggings. Because you're always prepared. We got this. We got this. Okay. We got this. All right. Whatever. How many jeans do you have? Five. Look at this. What is this? Seriously. I don't even know. We can't do this anymore. Like right in this area. When we need like a crew to help us through this. Well, but like this is good lighting. Well, the but light. like this is good lighting. The lighting. It's the lighting. Why can't my hair have stayed like that during the whole time? Well, because you moved. Stop, Stop moving. Stop moving. I know. There. Your eyes though 